up my lovelies and welcome back. Today I'm gonna play with a new curling hair technique using a curling iron. Not just any curling iron, a bigger curling, curling iron to create these really defined waves or curls or whatever you wanna call it. But I saw this new technique that I've never tried before and I wanted to try it out on my hair and share it with you guys and see what it looks like. And this is the overall result and I'm really impressed with the way it turned out. I'm really excited to share with you guys. So let's begin. I already prepped my hair. I used the Bumble and Bumble, the Invisible Oil Hair Primer and I'll be using the Tangle Teaser, the ultimate finisher along with, like I said, GHD 1.25 inch and then just a regular hair clip. What I usually do, I usually twist it once to three times down the length of my hair, but this one, you literally twist it as much as you possibly can. And the overall result is just really pretty. It kind of looks like you slept with braids in your hair and then you let it out, but it's not frizzy. It just looks really polished, uniform, but also very effortless. So like I said, 1.25 inch and how I start it because I'm twisting away from my hair twisting away from my face, hold it there for a couple of seconds. I like to kind of touch it. This is starting to feel hot to the touch. So one twist, second twist, kind of bring it down gently. Third twist, fourth twist, fifth, I think I'm gonna do six, six, seven, and then very gently drag the ends of my hair. And I always, I don't know if you saw, I was trying to unclip it every single twist that I do so it doesn't pull on my hair as much. So six twists, should I do six or seven? Eight? <laughs> Probably depends on the length of your hair. So again, I'm going away from my hair. <laughs> I'm going away from my face, not away from my hair. <laughs> That's pretty warm already. So one twist and then using the clip to drag it down. Second, a little bit down. Third, down. Fourth, down. Fifth. sixth and seven and drag down very gently and you see i'm not touching my hair i'm just letting it sit the way it is until i'm done all the way with like my entire head and this is just gonna let the curls really set and cool Make sure to really utilize the clamp. I never just drag my hair sh straight down. I always use the clamp to make sure I don't put as much tension on my hair. So are you doing more twists on these longer pieces? Yes. I think um, these longer ones, maybe like 10 twists. Honestly, the more twists, better. it seemed the better, yeah, from what he was doing. I'm gonna count how many. One, two, three, four, Nine. Nine out of that one. <laughs>
and I'm kind of working fast with these, each section. I'm not holding it there. Just because I don't want as much heat on my hair. I think that's the beauty of this style. You kind of do it really quick. It definitely, in my opinion, I think it definitely takes practice though. I mean, it looks like this is also a little bit more effort. Yeah, the other way usually takes me, that can be done in five minutes. It depends how hot your iron is. This one is 365. And I'm just twisting all the way down and then dragging it very gently. I noticed that on, on social media, they're starting to do more and more kind of weird twists. Yeah, super weird. Like that you, it's gonna be hard for your, you, it's hard to do it yourself on your own hair. You have to have somebody else do it just because of the way they bend the iron, either the curling iron or the flat iron. Like I found that it's difficult to do it on yourself. I find that this one's really easy to do just because it's all in the twists. That's it. Yeah, it's just going in the same direction mm -hmm. every time. Get in the hang of this. <laughs> okay, last and final section. I'm gonna hear it to the top sections. I'm not going all the way to the very top. All those baby hairs. <laughs> so after a few trial and error pieces <laughs> to get the best results from top to bottom, I found that with the twist, it's best to just keep it moving towards the very end, like once you're out of the hair. So twist, and you can see the twist, but it's flat here, but that section is gonna get twisted no matter what. So I think I'm gonna go one more twist, like down the barrel. See, fell out. I'm just gonna bring it back in. And then instead of taking it all the way down, I'm just gonna keep it twisting. And then at the very end, drag it down. And that way it's somewhat consistent. Twist, 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 let go. Twist, 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 let go. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of texture spray by AG. This is a tussled texture spray. I'm just gonna kind of take it throughout the hair fingers just very gently run it through I actually really like it it's pretty it looks really good I didn't think I would like it as much but it, wow it gives you a lot of volume too yeah I'm gonna fix this side right here you can see the section in comparison to the other ones, just not as many twists. Twist, 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 down. That looks like a little better. I love that it's very PC, wavy, curly. I actually really like the way this turned out. Yeah, it's an interesting way of getting, you know, tiny little waves with a big With iron. big sections of hair and a big iron, yeah. Or a bigger iron. This is actually really pretty. Wow, I actually really like this a lot. Okay, I will say it definitely takes a lot longer than 
the method that I usually do with the twist and the wrap, just because you're not doing as many twists. But the beauty of this is you're still taking big sections of hair instead of really small ones and using a super, super tiny iron or a curling wand or whatever. It's just the amount of twists that you're doing. The more, the better, so you'd get really, so you get basically a lot of bends in your hair. I actually really, really like this. I love the volume that it gives. I will say it's a little, it's on the side of a little bit frizzy, but I think it still looks very pretty. It looks somewhat natural, but it's all somewhat cohesive. I think this is really stunning. I love that it's giving me that volume that I really want sometimes with this type of a hairstyle. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this new technique. I sure did. Like I said, it's gonna take a little bit of practice, trial and error, how many twists you actually like, how many twists you want for the overall result. I think this is a phenomenal new hair curling technique that I'm gonna use quite often. All right, thank you so much for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.